Hi, I'm an attractive man, and welcome to the vet. Favorite director? Favorite superhero? One of those moments that kind of brings you tears. I'm about to walk into the form of all forms of Dark Knight Rising. You are as precious to me as you were to your own mother and father. I swore to them that I would protect you, and I haven't. the Dark Knight Rises premiere and I'm super excited. I haven't been this excited about a movie since, fuck it, since ever. The mayor's gonna dump him in the spring. Really? Mm-hmm. But he's a hero, a war hero. This is peacetime. Welcome ladies and gentlemen. You join us today on this very auspicious fanboy event. Uh, we're about to embark on the final journey of the Dark Knight as well as be really, really entertained. There's a storm coming, Mr. Wayne. You and your friends better batten down the hatches. Because when it hits, you're all going to wonder how you ever thought you could live so large and leave so little for the rest of us. Okay, so ladies, uh, we came, we saw, we came again, uh, and we cried. I need first impressions. First what I loved about The Dark Knight is it's, uh, it's, it's well made. It's Christopher Nolan doing what he does best, which is tell a good story, mm -hmm. right? Um, is it, was I blown away? No, I'm still not blown away. I know, I keep saying this every week, but that is the reality of it, guys. I'm not blown away. I had expectations. Someone should blow you up. <laughs> I had expectations and they were met. They weren't surpassed. I was wishing that they would, you know, okay. do something that I didn't expect. Okay. But everything that, had, that, that I saw, I, I expected. So, okay. yeah. But mm -hmm. it's still a good film. I'm, I'm still okay. satisfied with the conclusion of the, the saga. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Fair. My first impressions. Um, I'm a Christopher Nolan fan. Mm -hmm. Uh, Batman is obviously my favorite superhero, so that pretty much tells you that I mean, in a way, I'm gonna be biased. Yeah. Okay, it's one of those films. It probably those films that I'm gonna be very, very biased towards. I, I loved it. Um, I think it was perfect, and I think it exceeded a little bit because there's something I didn't expect. I was blown away because, well, I thought it was a fantastic film. It's one of those kind of films that you want to make as a filmmaker. It's like not it. only just about money, but it's about the story and integrity of the characters, and that's what I love about it. And I love the film, right? Yeah. But there were. The first half of the film for me, I felt like was not necessary in a way. Like the last half of the movie is where the movie should have begun. Four years ago, we weren't thinking about movies the way we think about them now. Sure. We're not thinking about big CGI, we're not thinking about where to start films. Yeah, he but, had to continue from where he left off. He's got a responsibility to take the movie to another level. Not just in story, which is what he's happy about. Yes, I'm happy about the story. But visually, I want to, be, I want to sit on my seat and be like, yes. You I like the fact that he wants to... He wants to show us Batman as the human being. If you if you if you've never read the comics and you know Batman purely from uh, the big screen or the cartoons, okay, you okay. you you you'll be content with the film. You'll love it. It's I okay. understand where you're coming from, but I've always said this. I said this from the first film that yeah. people need to understand it because it's the same thing as people reading a book and not being happy. You understand this interpretation of someone else's view. The way you when you read a book and you look through it and and the the imagination that you create yes. through that book. It's, it's yes. exactly okay. the same thing for yes. Paul Mickey. He just understand, uses understand the media. Okay, okay. okay. Yes. I, Here's an idea before we keep going on for yeah. ages. Um, it's time to put your balls or your mouths up. Okay, we need a rating. Okay. Give it an 8 out of 10. It was a strong film. But 8, eight, out, of eight out of 10. Wait. That's... 8 out of 10? That's, that's a W. Charles quote. <laughs> 8 out of 10. 
Yeah, my verdict is is I would give it higher if it was possible. I'd give it a ten because I think he, he he it was perfect. I think it was perfect. Is he it a ten? Wow. Pardon? I give it a 10. I give it a 10 because <laughs> I think he did it perfectly. So we have an 8 out of 10 because Christopher Nolan uh, didn't uh, break out of his limitations and we have a perfect 10 out of 10. Uh, I'm giving it a 10. Because, uh, well, I don't know why he gave it a 10 out of 10, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, Neither do I. Like, wow. uh, I'd like to add my two cents uh, before we move on to another segment, quick fast. Um, yes, it was a respectable film. Uh, four years in the waiting. I was anticipating, I was satisfied, but I have to be realistic and I have to be honest about what I saw. <laughs> Batman, in my opinion, was not perfect, but it did continue from where the Dark Knight left off. So I would have to agree with Hosanna and give this one an 8 out of 10. That's fine. You're delusional, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you're coming yeah. from a dupe. But look, like I said, um, I think we're exactly the same, but just from different angles. You're biased and I'm biased, but we're different, different I'm angles. I'm not being biased. I think you are. How am I being biased? I think you're biased to the comic books. Is that, I think I'm... it's better if we actually speak about things that we did like about the film. Okay. Because I'm hearing a lot of Nolan and I'm hearing a lot about comic books. Okay. But what about okay. the movie? Good points in the movie. True. I liked, True. I liked, I liked his take on it because I, I know that Christopher Nolan doesn't like to do stupid characters. Like he won't just do a character just like because Bane is not. He's pure muscle, but he he gave Bane some intelligence. When Gotham is ashes, you have my permission to die. Let's say that kind of guy in the comic books. I know that there. I like that he. I like that he says, look, people can have strength and stuff like that, but they shouldn't be just stupid because we all know how they did Bane. In the previous one, let's not name that one. The Batman with Arnold. I think it was Arnold, right? That Batman, right? Oh, and how exactly? And was it Ivy? Oh, <laughs> Poison Ivy. Oh, and the way they depicted Bane there, oh, oh, right? Yeah. You could say, uh, I felt, yeah. That's 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 his take on it. And I and I look, I understand that because I've I've seen Batman and I and I look at it from a different point of view. And sometimes I like to enjoy how somebody wants to tell their storyline. You understand? Like it's their their interpretation. Yeah. Of, of of something look i do get you i do get you i do get you it, it's as a fanboy because there's a lot of films i've watched as a fanboy i'm not <laughs> no, i'm not okay, happy so he likes bane i like bane um, what do you like about the film i liked the two lines that uh, that actually batman would say and he said them and i wish they were yeah true, that's true, I, true, I, true, I love true. those two lines that yeah. he says okay that was good for lines. me that was there were two lines that was batman that, yeah. that's what i wanted those are two good lines yeah. mm. no, okay well, those, those were Okay, I will agree with you there. If the, if you're gonna talk about like him coming, like bring some of the old, like ba comic Batman, those two lines. No, but what he Batman. meant was that um, in terms of when Batman puts on that cowl and mask yes, and he intimidates he bad guys, and when he's yes. with uh, uh, other counterparts, he's yes. either heroes or cops, he has a certain uh, swagger mm. that uh, other superheroes don't have, mm. a certain cockiness to him, mm -hmm. uh, a very a fearful side to him yeah. that we got to experience in those two lines. Yeah. So yeah, I, 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 I enjoyed that. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. I also enjoyed how Nolan introduced some of these characters. I mean, Bane's introduction, the first six, seven minutes, just immediately <laughs> give you an, inter an interjection of, of who what, he is. Yeah, who he is and how yeah. he handles himself. The dude is well spoken and he's a brute. Yeah. That, yeah. that was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now he was a fantastic yeah, character. Yeah, he, was. he was a fantastic mm -hmm. character. So, I love. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, to end off this this review. Uh, I quickly like to say, I mean, if, mm. if, if you enjoyed the other Batman, you'll enjoy this. I mean, there's more explosions, yeah. believe it or not. The, the characters are still as cool. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's more polished. And <laughs> as far as just being a fanboy and a geek, mm. uh, yeah, I'm going to go get me a Batman cape and cow.